Hey everyone, this is Zach Edwards with Historical Conquest. I just wanted to let you know that the curriculum boxes are out. They're in the mail, they're being sent out, so you can enjoy your history adventure like never before, ever, ever before. This is brand new, this is great. I'm gonna do an unboxing for you so you can actually see what it's like. So every month you get one of these. That's right, Historical Conquest curriculum box. That is so cool. And it's, I mean, this is like waterproof almost, almost. It's, it is still cardboard, but it's very glossed over. <laughs> it is a very nice surface. You can actually use this to hold all of your historical conquest materials. So that is great. So you got historical conquest. On the back, you got George Washington and a little bit of information. On the sides, you got different action scenes based on the adventure box. And then the unboxing. Here we go. Look at that. Enjoy this month's adventure box. Okay, so inside, especially for those that signed up for the monthly, they received two decks of cards. Now, you actually get to choose which two decks you want, but that is especially for people that have never played Historical Conquest. They need something to play with, so we're putting these in. And get this, the box and everything that's in it is actually fairly cheap. If you put everything that we have in here together, if you were to buy them all separately, you'd be spending a lot more money than by buying them uh, in this set. Okay, so you've got two decks of cards in here. You have the new expansion deck. This is the uh, ancient American history. This is everything from ancient, uh, so the Incas, the Mayas, the Aztecs, but you also have the um, Native Americans up in the north and also some of the events that happen, some of the inventions that happen. You got to check out the inventions, such as like concrete. You know, people said that it was invented in uh, Rome, but they are so wrong. The Aztecs had it before them. No, actually, no, no. They had it, but they were separate than the Romans. So they also came up with concrete on their own. Same type of mixture, practically. So that is so cool. And... Uh, yeah, take them all out. Okay, so that is the next part that's in the box. In this box also, you're gonna find seeds. Now the seeds is because of experiments and projects that you have in this system, not just one, but multiple ones. So you're gonna use these, which are corn seed. It should be saying corn, oh, there we go, yeah. Corn seed, because in Mesoamerica, they were all about corn. Actually, all of the, like in the Northland, uh, <laughs> Northland, North America, they were as well. They were planting seeds. That's one of the most native to this country. And these are actually native ones that are there. Okay, and available for you. You also get clay, different packages of clay because there's different activities. Sorry that there's not more there. Actually came in smaller than we thought they would. The next time we're gonna actually make them a little bit bigger, but you got clay in here as well for the activities that you will find in your curriculum. This is one month's worth of curriculum. That's a lot, right? That's a good amount for one month. But we set it up in a way that you can do it individually. You can also do it as a group. If it's as a group, it's so much faster and so much easier because you all take part. Um, so like you'll take the Aztecs, someone else will take the Maya. Others will take other tribes that are in uh, Central America. And that's the week that you're studying Central America. You also get a week on North American and also a week on uh, South America with the Incas and such. So you can do all the studying by yourself or as a group. Now in the back, it also has, like we were talking about before, cross-curricular activities. So let's just see, this one is earth science. This one is chemistry. We have biology, but we also have algebra, geometry, uh, number theory, multiplication, division. These are all different cross-curricular activities and, and projects that are in here. Go a little bit further back, and you also have hit, uh, in English in history. That's what you're studying all, all of them. But English, this is a way for you to be able to retain the information that you're doing and have really a fun activity with each of your lessons. So this is great. Oh, I did, one thing I didn't show, it also has coloring pages as well in the back. So you can use this as an individual or as multiple people. So if you have like four people in your family, this is great. Even if they're in upper elementary school, you can get this. 
Now, the words might be a little bit bigger for you, but they have activities and everything that are meant for you. So you can actually be in the upper elementary school ages. So like, uh, let's see, third, fourth and fifth grade and still going through this book. So that's basically what you get in this book. You get the curriculum. You get the starter decks. You get the whoops, expansion deck. And then you also get other crafts. And there will always be different ones. Now, in these boxes also, it's not just what's in the box. Digitally, you get to have a membership with Zogos Gaming. So you have, right now we have four games, but we're constantly growing. We're creating a few more um, actively right now to expand what you're doing. But this includes Debt-Free Millionaire. This includes the digital form of Historical Conquest. Uh, also, uh, Bug and Seek, which is another developer who hooked that to our system where you can learn about bugs. Um, and then the last one is Time Quest, where it's much like if you've ever seen the timeline game, you're able to put together cards in a chronological order. A lot of fun. And you get to challenge people on that one. You also um, get to challenge people on Historical Conquest. The other two are solo games. But all of our games are going to have solo games and multiplayer as we go. And we are just about to be finished with the banking system where you can earn coins on the on the games and then spend them in the games, spend them on potentially gift cards and such or a marketplace. But here's what I'm really excited about is you can actually spend them in uh, scholarships for higher ed. And that does not mean just universities and colleges, also means trade schools. And we are working on that right now. I was just meeting with a developer. We'll have it up within the next three months. So that is great. I know you're, you're going to be excited about that. You're going to see great potential in this and you're going to want to be part of this. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. Can't wait to show you more. There's always more coming with Historical Conquest. Next month, Age of Exploration, if you're doing uh, North Amer uh, American history, and then you also have African history if you're doing ancient civilizations. So look forward to those. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you next time. Remember, this comes in the mail every month. So you'll get a box of this every month. How cool is that? And you know, I'm not tooting horns, but I I saw this show up and we put it together and we're like, dang, that's better than I thought it would be. So I hope you're uh, excited and you're able to be part of that. Oh, also, you also get a membership to the Rare Card Program where you write an essay, we send you a rare card in the mail. That's thrown in there for free as well. So not just what's in the box, Zogos, oh, and Hunt the Past. Wow, there's a lot of things in there, just so many things. Oh, oh, and the podcast too. Now the podcast is free for everyone. But you'll be able to follow along with the podcast with your box, with the curriculum that's in there. So again, one last time, Rare Card Program, uh, Zogos Gaming, Hunt the past and the podcast and the box. The box. This is the coolest part. So cool. You're going to get this every month. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.